again from the water therapy fishing channel here. So this week I got asked a lot of questions on like basic setups and bluegill setups just to get your kids or maybe like a refresher course back out on the water. Um, so we're gonna go over the closed face reel first because that's what most of you guys have um, is something similar to this. This is an older one. I prefer these old dead clothes. I like them. I don't know why I have like a little obsession with them. I've literally got like 10 of these old 33s from 1987. This one's a 96. Um, all the way up to the newer models. I don't know why. They're old, they're reliable. I like them. Um, but typically, most of your closed face systems will have this release button right here on the bottom. So when you're casting out, you'll push this button and you'll hold it down. You'll hold it down all the way through your cast until you point to the water and then you'll let it go. And then once it hits the water, you'll reel up and you'll hear it click. Then you'll set your pole down and you'll reel your line up tight. And then you'll set your pole down on whatever, you know, pole holder you have. Okay, so typically most um, of these closed face reels will have a drag system on them. Um, not all of them have this button right here, I'll bite alert system. I'll show you how that works in a second. I'm gonna show you how the drag works first. But typically, your drag tightens and loosens, right? So I have this cranked up tight. So see here, I'm grabbing the line. I can't pull it up, right? So when you cast out, you don't want to have your line butt tight because um, you hear poles gonna get snatched in the water fast. And if you're not paying attention, like I was last year, and I turn around like this real quick, oh, this is beautiful, and I look back, and then you see the butt of your pole going in the water like a torpedo. Yeah, my drag was all the way tight and I wasn't paying attention. So this button right here to the right will tighten it. Like I said, I already have it all the way tight. And then if you loosen up a little bit, you want typically not all the way loose, but loose enough to where if they bite, you'll hook them. And uh, by the same time, they won't pull your pole in the water. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you'll get comfortable with that as you go. This one does have the bite alert system on it. So I'll turn this on to show you the difference when you're sitting. Um, a lot of the newer ones have the bite alert. So that comes in handy when you're not paying attention. You can actually hear when you're getting a bite. So I'm going to turn this little lever right here on and I'm going to free this reel right here with this lever right here and so if you get a bite you're going to hear this sound and that that really comes in handy you know if you got ADD like me and you're always looking around in the water or if you're busy with your other pole casting that really comes in handy um the next thing I'm going to show you is how to set this up for a little bobber and a little bluegill pole because that's basically what most requests I had last week or for is to get the kids back out in the water to get you guys back out in the water so I'll show you that little setup and then you could switch it up however you want whatever your comfortability level is um, I just hope to see you out in the water I can't wait to see your pictures and videos this summer um, I hope you have fun watching this video and I hope I taught you something so on to setting this up Welcome back. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to set up a simple bobber and hook rig. Um, easiest way to catch bluegill or any of your panfish. Um, we're gonna start with your line, right? And then we're gonna put on a smaller size hook here. Um, doesn't matter, just a smaller size hook. I'm not gonna get too technical with it. Um, if you wanna get technical, you can go to a different channel, but just a smaller um, hook. And then you thread it through here, through the back. If I can get it in. All right, so now that you get it in, grab your remaining line, and then you're gonna spin this around the other line with your front finger and your thumb. And you do that about six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then you're gonna run it through the backside of that. You're gonna pull it, and it's gonna have a little loop right there that pops out of it. You're gonna take the other end of that line that you have and you're gonna run it through there and you're gonna pinch it down. Now, you always wanna like wet your line, so wet the line real quick. And then we're gonna cinch that bad boy tight. And there you go. That's how you tie a hook on. Now the next step, you wanna 
take about a foot away from where your hook's at. That's where you're gonna put your bobber on. So these just slide down and there's a little clasp and you just hook that clasp on there. You let it spring back up and then look at, boom, your bobber's on there. So what I also use is I use a little split shot. I use a tiny one. Um, I like it, I don't know the weight, but if you want the weight, um, go to a different channel. I'm just here to help. So I'm gonna put this on. I'm just gonna cinch it on there with my teeth. It's not recommended, but if you got pliers, you can use those too. All right, but that is your basic hook and bobber rig. I will actually just grab a worm out of here and show you guys too the best way to go ahead and hook these on here. You're gonna start right here at the tip, boom, down, in them, get started and just thread them through. Thread them through, let them come out a little bit and thread them through again. All right, and then I usually just push them up like that so I have a little bit hanging there and boom. fish food ready to go all right and then like I said with that close face reel you're just gonna push the thumb on down and you're in the water you don't have to worry about it see how easy that was go take your kids fishing now all right so now I gave you the breakdown on the close faced reels these are the open face reels or the spinning combos um, so on the other one you had the button that pushed on the bottom that released your line on this one you have that right there the little uh bail so you flip that bail over and you're going to pinch it with your finger right there and hold it bring it back and cast once it hits the water you close that bail and then you start reeling up till your line's tight and then you fish um the drag on this one is the bottom the top so you can Move this left to right, and then it will loosen your drag, so that way you can fight the fish or just have it to your comfortability. Like I said, fishing is all about your comfortability, so you figure that out, and then you'll probably be able to tear them up. Got him. There, guys. Got a little bluegill. See? Look at that. See that little rig I taught you? you taught me that guy. I'm gonna let him go, just cause. I'll take him down here. Let him go. I gotta give it a few more casts here before I leave. Hopefully not snag up on anything. Um, well, I showed you how to use a closed face reel. I showed you how to use an open faced reel. I showed you how to tie on a bobber. Um, I actually caught a fish in my video that makes it a fishing video. Hey, Catfish Dave, my boy. But yeah. Um, I hope that helps you get out here and have some fun um, with your family and friends or just get out here by yourself and uh, just feel peace, man. Every time I'm out in the water, it's peaceful. I've never, I can't think of a bad time. I can't think of a bad time I've had in the water ever. I mean, even if it was 
it started as a bad time or something bad happened during that, um, I still made it into a good time. I still had fun. I miss this. Winter sucks. I'm glad we got some nice temperature. I'm glad I see everybody out moving around. I went past the Dillon home earlier. I saw the whole parking lot was packed, so that means you guys are all out here enjoying your day. Um, I'm gonna give it a few more casts, but we'll see you next time. Thank you for coming to the Water Therapy Fishing Channel. Hope you learned something. Oh, my bobber, guys, my bobber. Hey. Hey. Check it out. We got us another one before the night ends. That's two. See, we're out here having fun. That's what you gotta do. Get out and have some fun, guys. All right, guys, I had to give it one more shot. So that last exit wasn't the real exit. This is the real exit. Take care.